Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief Wikibits video about the Rosenhan experiment. The Rosenhan experiment was an experiment conducted by Stanford University professor David Rosenhan to determine the validity of psychiatric diagnoses. The experimenters pretended to have hallucinations in order to enter psychiatric hospitals, and then acted normally after being admitted. They were diagnosed with psychiatric disorders and were given antipsychotic drugs. Rosenhan's study had two parts. The first part involved the use of healthy associates or pseudo-patients who briefly faint auditory hallucinations in an attempt to gain admission to 12 different psychiatric hospitals in five different states in various locations in the United States. All were admitted and diagnosed with psychiatric disorders. After admission, the pseudo-patients acted normally and told staff that they felt fine and had no longer experienced any additional hallucinations. All were forced to admit to having a mental illness and had to agree to take antipsychotic drugs as a condition of their release. The average time that the patient spent in the hospital was 19 days. The second part of his study involved an offended hospital administration challenging Rosenhan to send pseudo-patients to its facility, whom its staff would then detect. Rosenhan agreed and in the following weeks the staff identified 41 new patients as potential pseudo-patients. In fact, Rosenhan had not sent any pseudo-patients to the hospital. The study concluded it is clear that we cannot distinguish the sane from the insane in psychiatric hospitals and also illustrated the dangers of dehumanization and labeling in psychiatric institutions. The study was published by the journal Science in 1973 under the title On Being Sane in Insane Places. It is considered an important and influential criticism of psychiatric diagnosis. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about the Rosenhan experiment. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.